West Nile virus, a potentially serious illness transmitted by mosquitoes, has been detected in two people in Hamden County and three in the state overall. 22 News reporter Kelly Thomas spoke with health experts about the dangers of the virus and how you can protect yourself. Mosquito bites are not only itchy and annoying, but they can also be dangerous. The warm weather has led to an increase in mosquito populations, which can transmit diseases like West Nile virus. You first get infected with the West Nile with the mosquito bite. After that, the virus tries to find its way through your body. In most patients, your immune system can clear it out without any issue. Although most people infected with West Nile virus won't show any symptoms, some might develop severe neurological illnesses like encephalitis. Basically, it means inflammation of the brain where the patient then becomes uh, altered, they become lethargic, they can even develop seizures. He says only 10% of patients that get exposed to the virus will actually develop West Nile fever. Just recently, the state's Department of Public Health confirmed a man in his 40s from Hamden County was diagnosed with the virus. This makes it the second human case in the county. The first human case was announced last week in East Long Meadow. Anything that's really, you know, that could cause any, any kind of a pathological kind of a disease or anything like that is, you know, worth a concern at least. But just got to keep living your life and protect yourself the best you can. People can take measures on their own for protecting their property by making sure they don't have any standing water um, and also using EPA registered uh, repellents when they go out or just wearing long pants and long sleeves when you go out during high mosquito activity time. Health officials say we likely can expect more cases, if not in our area, than across the state since August to September is peak season for the virus. Massachusetts usually sees about 10 cases a year. Working for you, Kaylee Thomas, 22 News.